Spencer and Eugene enlist their friend Burton to help move the massive amount of dirt needed to bury Eugene's bug out shelter. Look how much dirt that is. That's a pickup truck load right there. But Eugene has had to put himself in harm's way to get this massive structure in the ground. Let's go! Hurry, brother, hurry! Come on out of there, Eugene! It's total chaos right now. I hear Eugene yelling. Hang on one second. I'm hoping he's not being too brave. And I hear the ears on top straining. You a brave man. Good. All right, you ready? Yeah. Let's take it down. Hey, I think that's got it. That's going to be great, man. With the drainage pipe in place, Spencer and Eugene will be able to hook up the water system. Hey, you going to call it a day? <laughs> that's good. Man, that's good enough day. work for one day, I think. Right. You guys figure all this up, how you're going to do it, and I'll come cover it up for you one day. OK. All right, you got a deal. Eugene's shelter is finally in the ground. Pretty awesome, huh? It's incredible. All we got to do is build a pit right here. This bug out shelter of mine has a door in the front that opens up. And because I'm burying the thing, I have to build a bulkhead around that door so that I can still open the door and be able to get in and out of it. We make a space where we can still open the door. And we'll have to put a ladder in there where we can climb out. This bulkhead that I'm building is pretty much the same thing as a mine shaft. And what it has to do is hold the soil out so that it can't collapse and cave in around my front door. Eugene will construct a bulkhead, a partition to make certain that the dirt doesn't roll down in front of the shelter's door. Eugene's model will have three walls. Yeah, see, with the boards on the outside, all the pressure from the dirt won't uh, won't push the boards off the wall, you know? First, the boys construct the bulkhead walls. All right, you ready to stand these walls up? The way the lay of this land is here, we can't build the walls in place. We have to build them and then put them in place, and they're real heavy. You need a little bit of leverage, aren't you? Know? So we used a rock bar to pry and lever and other little rocks and, and pieces of wood to use as a pivot point and pivot those walls into place so we can move a lot more than we normally could. All right, man, it's good enough. We'll run over to Burton's tomorrow and tell him that he can cover this hole up. 